Today I will be investigating some life hacks for your dog. And the best part is they're easy, affordable and fun. Hey, I'm Philly Pixie and welcome to Pixie Pinvestigates. It's a series where I try and test out pins from Pinterest to see if they work. Most of the items mentioned in this video you can easily find around your house and the others you can find easily online which I have left links to them down below for you guys to check out if you wish. The first life hack I have is for all the pet owners who have dog hair everywhere and I mean when your doggo likes to lie on the couch and then as soon as they leave or move hair gets stuck to the couch to the floor to your clothes kind of everywhere around your house so for the first life hack for your dog you'll need is a pair of gloves these are like literally my dishwashing gloves and what you're meant to do with them is wet them under the running tap just wet them with water and rub your glove against a surface which has a lot of dog hair Mine is the couch, as you guys can see. When I tried it, it seemed to be working. I did see some hairs on the gloves, but because of the color of my gloves, you couldn't really see it, so it wasn't really a definitive, oh yeah, this is amazing. So if I use different color gloves, maybe it worked a little bit better, or I could see it work better. But I can see this one really not working well, because the thought that I had was that the hairs on the glove will go back to the couch, or it wouldn't be as effective unless I kept rinsing it. I thought about using like a bucket, so you could dip your glove into the bucket, but then as you take your glove out of the bucket, you're taking the hairs on back onto the couch so then it's really ineffective so for this one I give it two hearts out of five life hack for your dog number two you'll need a Kong a Kong is pretty much a boredom buster you place like food and stuff in it and it's really good to keep your dogs entertained but also it's used as a training tool as well so the Kong that I use is a size bigger than my dog, so my dog would be like an extra large, he's a Labrador, and the Kong that I got was two extra larges, and that's because I could easily fill it with more treats by the size of it, and also it makes it easier for my dog to get his tongue in that, that hole there, and not in that one. So what you do with the Kong is you fill it up with your doggy's favourite treats. I'm just putting like my doggy biscuits in it. Then I put some water inside because I want the biscuits to expand and become stickier. This makes it more challenging for the dog to get the treats out. And then you simply top it up with a little bit of peanut butter. So once you've filled your Kong right up, you can literally give it to your dog as is. And that's a good idea if your dog has never seen a Kong before and it's a good way to introduce the Kong to your dog. But because uh, Spencer is already familiar with it, I freeze mine so that it, it freezes everything inside. And this just makes it a little bit more challenging for him to get the treats out. Rather than giving it straight to your dog, go and hide it somewhere in your backyard and then get your dog to sniff it out. Personally, I love this hack because the Kongs are durable, reusable, they're versatile, you can add anything, different things to it. Probably the only downside is that you have to prepare it, but literally that takes like five minutes. And also, you have to make the initial investment to buy it, but it is a boredom buster and you can use it over and over again. So it is worth it, I think. This one, I rate five hearts. This life hack for your dog is a simple one. Now, if you've ever fed your dog and you've noticed that they absolutely inhale their food, like there is no breath being taken and they just scoop it up. This is a simple tip for you dog owners. So for this hack, you only need a tennis ball or even two and you simply place it inside your dog bowl. Okay, so we're about to feed Spencer. Here's the puppy. Put the bowl and the bowl in there. Put it right in the middle. All right, doggo. Sitting there very, very patiently. Okay. He's not gonna eat it. Okay, go on. There we go. Now it looks like he's just working his way around the bowl. I'm surprised he didn't actually take the ball out of there. But yeah, he seems pretty happy. Hey, Spinner. Oh, good little puppy. 
You could put two bowls in there to make it a bit slower, but I think this is working fi out fine. Spencer's not really like a really fast eater. He does slow down a little bit, but I just wanted to try it anyway to see if he would eat a little bit slower than he normally does. And as you guys saw in the video that it worked, he, he just worked around it. I was worried that he would actually take the tennis balls out of there, but he didn't. If your dog is super smart and takes those balls out of there, you can get these specially designed dog balls, which create these obstructions so that they are forced to uh, move around them. This fourth life hack I found really, really clever and my dog loved it. It's called the Muffin Tin Game. It's a fun little puzzle for your dog. So for this life hack, all you need is a muffin tin, some tennis balls, and some treats. I am placing some of these liver treats and I'm putting it in random spots inside the muffin tin just to make it a little bit harder and make it more challenging for my dog. And then all you have to do is cover it up with the tennis balls and give it to your dog and they'll figure out the rest. Spencer, you have to try and get the treats and not the balls, okay? Got it? Okay, we're gonna test this out. Okay, <laughs> he's peeing. <laughs> Thank you, Spencer. So, I place it in front of you. Okay, go. Oh, yes, he's almost got it. Oh, he got one. Nice. I have a feeling this isn't going to take him very long to figure out. Now he just wants to play with the ball. <laughs> Spencer, you got to keep going. Yeah, he can smell it. Look at him, he's so clever, but, okay, okay, yeah, he can smell the tree, he completely missed it, the treats are still inside there, oh, he got it now, he can still smell it there, oh, good, three for three, and he's playing with a tennis ball again. Now, my muffin tray only had six muffin molds in it, so I could make mine a lot harder by getting a bigger muffin tray. So, overall, I think this is a pretty good game. As you guys can see, he took the first three that were filled with liver treats, and he took the other tennis balls, because he did a poop. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, he's coming back. The next life hack I have is a classic one and it's great for summer. So for this hack, all you need is an icy pull mold and all I'm doing is cutting up some apples, some slicing some apples, don't get any seeds in there because that's not good for dogs. And then all I'm doing is pouring some chicken broth in it, just, I mean you could add uh, plain water if you wanted to, so it's like a, an actual icy pull. But I use some chicken broth just to add a little bit of taste and then all you have to do is put these in the freezer. You ready? All right, let's try this out. All right, all yours, buddy. Oh, wow. Loves it, it's good for a summer's day. Now this one, Spencer absolutely loved <laughs> and it got to a point where he actually started biting the ice on it. At first he was licking it and then he began like biting into it. So I recommend that you supervise your dog if you're going to do this hack. So you can get really creative with it and change it up if it gets a bit too stale and make it more exciting for your dog as long as the fruit and the veg are all safe to eat. <laughs> oh, love you too, Spinner. Do you like walking your dog at dusk or even dawn? Are you often in a wide space and it's starting to get dark, like the beach or even at a park? Then you're going to need one of these dog tags that light up. So this dog tag, pretty much, you just put it on to their collar, just add it on with that little hook. And all you do is press it to turn it on. Mine has three different settings, one that has the light on all the time, one that flashes really really fast and one that kind of flashes in and out and after that one is simply turn it off so it doesn't run out of battery you can get these in different colors online and I got a yellow one just to match with my dog because he's a yellow Labrador so I got a yellow tag this one I particularly like because it's a safety thing uh, one if you walk your dog 
and they get loose at least you can see them in the dark as they're running off you know what direction they're going uh, people can see your dog for instance like if they get loose and there's a road and there's a car and there's cars coming at least the dog tag I hope like they'll be able to see them mine lights up really really well and it doesn't seem to bother Spencer at all as he's walking around in the backyard running around with it on so it doesn't get in the way and you can literally just turn it off and turn it on as you go so there you have it six life hacks for your dog that are easy affordable and fun with most of them you can find them easily online and common items around your household here is another dog video that might interest you guys and here is the next pinvestigate video if there's nothing there it's because i'm still trying to record it and if there is you can probably see the thumbnail thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye now